Y'all, Russ here, Arvier TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Hanover, Pennsylvania. We're leaving it. I had one great visit with my friends. They used to live around Quartzsite. They were vendors at Tyson Wells for years. Anyway, they're out here, and guess what? It rained every day. This morning it's not raining, but it's supposed to later. We're going to be uh, heading west. I thought we'd go up uh, to Gettysburg. We're going to actually drive back to Gettysburg. I'm going to go up here and pick up uh, US-30. And there was one site that I missed when I was up there filming. And because of the rain, <laughs> haven't been back. So it looks like this morning we can sneak in there. It's the Eisenhower Farm, his old homestead. It's in the middle of all the Gettysburg uh, battlefields. I thought that'd be a cool little stop before we hit the highway and truck on west. We're heading to Ohio, too. What a unique area. I mean, the history is so vast. The homes are old. Everything's old. Buildings. A lot have been refurbished into businesses. Remodeled. But they're all 100 to 200 years old. It's incredible. Could you imagine living in one of these and thinking, who lived here before? <laughs> My goodness. To date that far back. Who would know? Absolutely incredible. Alright. I'm going to take uh, the loop around. I thought it would be a little more scenic. Right up the road here should be Highway 30. US 30. It's all scenic here. Trees and green. They don't have to water the grass here. <laughs> Because it rains. Also, we're in a heavily populated area. There's a lot of people here. We're close to Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C., even uh, New York and uh, New Jersey. Not that far away. All right, here we are, U.S. 30. We'll be on this road for a while. I thought we'd cut through Gettysburg, go check out uh, Eisenhower Farm, and then go from there. Yeah, diesel's up over 350 a gallon here. It's climbing. Summertime travel. Okay, right up here, there's a little town called New Oxford. Drove through here the other day with my friends. We came up here and got something to eat. Once again, just the old style brick, colonial style buildings. And they also have a little roundabout up here at the town square. <laughs> here it is here. How do we go? They all got fountains, little parks. You can just sit there and watch the traffic go by in the rain. <laughs> Shops and banks and all that. All right, we're continuing on 30 West. Just a couple miles up the road, we're going to cut down and we'll go find uh, Eisenhower Farm. National. It's actually a national monument place. Here we go. Almost missed it. We'll cut down. This is 15 south. It's going to drop down about six, seven miles. Then we'll cut over to the Eisenhower National uh, Historic Site. It's his old homestead. Look at that little bit of sun, but 
Rain's rolling in. Actually, I'm going to be driving into it. It's heading this way anyway. So I thought I'd get an early start this morning, try to beat it, before it rains me out again. Road should be right up here. Here's some of the old battlegrounds. They are just everywhere out here. Memorials everywhere. I think I see the farm off to the right. This should be it here. You know, also they got horseback riding here. They take out... Here it is. Eisenhower. There it is. You can go out on little tours on uh, horses. On the trails. All right, let's go check this out. No one's in that shack. Uh, online, it, it tells you it opens at 6 a.m. till dusk is when you can come out here. And all the buildings are closed. You can only walk the grounds. Probably because of COVID. All right, I'm just going to follow the signs. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> and it's free. No charge come out here. What's that? Park headquarters. So that's where the rangers are. Looks like this is part of their farm here. Some old buildings, silo, pretty cool. All right, keep on trucking. I'm following the signs that says visitor parking. Here we go. We made it. Alright, well, I'll get parked. Let's go for a walk. Made it. Welcome to Eisenhower National Historic Site. And we got the guy at the leaf blower. <laughs> Cool. All right. Let's go check this thing out. This walkway is cool. It's made out of like bark. It's real soft to walk on. Huh. They had a handicap entrance on the other side. This isn't it here. Okay. With the guy with the leaf blower and us. Follow the footsteps. There's the layout of the property. There's the farm we passed. There's the house. Pretty modest house, too. Not like them other ones with the big pillars and the mansions. Part of it's brick. That's a good size home though. Look at all the windows. Wow, that's cool. When he was president, they landed the helicopter right here. Cool. got gas pumps how much 24 cents a gallon <laughs> man it's been a while huh 24 cents a gallon looks like a uh, barn big old corrals this, up here this is where the handicap parking is here pretty cool And 
in this one. More of the same. More of their layout. Out that direction's all the battlefields from the Civil War. Look at the old rocking chairs set out here. Watch the world go by. See a little sign in there. Guest house. Can't really go in. Imagine all the people that worked here for him. When you're president, don't you have all the secret service and all that? Dignitaries probably came out here. People from all over the world. Well, they say Gettysburg area, there's over three million visitors a year that come out to all these different sites including this one well here's the front door see if anyone's home temporary close probably because of covid that's too bad all right well let's wander out back there you go there's a better look at it old wike's home Big old windmill here. Think of the views. Think of uh, them sitting out here. Just looking out over their farm. Here in Gettysburg. What a place to live. Huh. Alright, well. There you go. Let's head on back to the van. See what else we can get into. <laughs> This is the softest walkway I've ever walked on. It's made out of, looks like ground up tree bark. Huh. There's their garden, got some roses going. Birdies chirping. <laughs> Shangri-La. Okay, we gotta do it one more time. We gotta drive back. I cut back up to town. We gotta drive through this circle one more time. <laughs> Go past that cannonball that's in the side of that building. That is still something else. This is downtown Gettysburg. The sun's almost coming out. Haven't seen that in days. Look at that shade. <laughs> Shadows on the street from the trees. Goodness. Okay, that ice cream parlor right there. That's where the cannonball is. Okay, here we go. Roundabout. This is the Lincoln Highway. US 30 is actually called the Lincoln Highway. So we're going to cruise the Lincoln Highway. Pretty cool. There's another stop I want to make along the heading towards Ohio. Hopefully the weather holds up. Uh, look at them young fellas out there running. <laughs> I can't run no more. 
Out for a morning jog in Gettysburg. Pretty good. Okay, this is going to cut us back up. I kind of remember this. This is actually, we're going to go back through a little bit of the battleground area on the north side. Just past that old hotel. You know, there's all kinds of ghost tours that you can take. They claim this area is haunted. All the buildings are. But you can see several online about the ghost tours and the historics of that way. Back out in the farmland. A few miles be to the left would have been Eisenhower site where we're just at. There's a visitor center there on the left. This is the Lincoln Highway US 30. We're going to stay on this for a while. Now I also looked up on the way over to Ohio there's a site if the weather holds we're supposed to be driving into some rain is uh, the Flight 93 National Memorial. So I thought I'd stop there check that out see what else we can get into Yeah, it's getting more and more rural, a little flatter. I think we end up some mountains, too, when we get over farther into western Pennsylvania. Should be a pretty place. Everything's nice here. <laughs> cool. All right, journey continues. Talk soon.